Five eight five, we put on for the city. We want rumble, who with me? Nothing but hard hustle, grinding, we gritty. Summertime, no, it's bound to get litty. So we put on for the city. Five eight five, I just hope that they hear me. Yeah, keeping it G, keeping it G. Always with my nigga KC. Yeah, keeping it G, keeping it G, keeping it G. We put on for the city. You are now tuned in to keeping it G with KC. You know I keep my boy Leak with me. What's good, y'all? While I stay behind the camera. And today we got a special guest, my boy Q Rose. Good, What's up, bro? bro? What's up, bro? How are you? I'm chilling, man. I can't complain. How are you? We man, cool, we cool, man. Chillin'. I'm glad you pulled up. We've been watching your highlights for a minute. We see you <laughs> doing your thing. Of course, we know you from the towns, but just talk to us about it. You know what I'm saying? Your, folk, your basketball experience coming from Rochester and your, your, your experiences from there. Uh, I'm going to keep it a stack. Like, coming from Rochester with basketball is kind of tough growing up because, like, we a small city, but like, sure. you don't really know that until you get out and you play in these other places right. and stuff. So growing up, I, I always thought I was better than I was mm -hmm. until I got out and started playing against players in Cali, yeah. Ohio, yeah, yeah. Texas, yeah. you feel me? Right. So once that happened, I started seeing that, I felt like just had to put in more work and then that's what I did, came back. It was like an eye opener, I got to like eighth grade, that's when it really started kicking in. Like, Going out of town playing against now I do it like six, eight, six, nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you feel it's a different me? experience. So, yeah, I just had to lock, lock back in when I came back. Wow. Yeah, that's how it was when I was young. What you think? What you think it is is like the the separation from a town like like you said like out there in Texas or LA wherever they may be. Where they is it just like all around? Is it the is it the people that's like? I think really what it is is like in cities like that it's the population size is bigger. So like. It's more players in the past that made it to where we're trying to go. Mm -hmm. So they already right, have right. the resources. They know how to do it. It's basically like right, a blueprint. Right. We had a few, but it was like not. A, like, it hasn't been in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. 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 There wasn't no real roots kind of built here for us to you know follow that blueprint in a way. It wasn't enough that came about it. Like, yeah. no, no, no. We're right. trying to change that right now. For sure, for sure. It's getting better. It's been getting better, like I said, because even with my experiences in high school, like like you said, we didn't have the resources. We didn't have scouts coming out to see us. Yeah. And I was getting better because it's shedding a lot more light thanks to some of the, 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 the players like you, you know what I'm saying, your seven McGee's, and you know what I'm saying, P players like that that put, a, put the town on for real, you know what I'm saying? For sure, yeah. for sure. Since yeah. we're talking about high school, it was something that was saying that you was one of the first niggas to do it with the rolling your short shit in yeah, high school. Yeah, definitely. You sparked it? Me and my bro, Keith McGee. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah we I sparked that. We team. We played Upstate Elite, but we were the first to do that. What? Yeah, so. And now, since we still talk about high school, boy, what was your most memorable dunk you had in high school? Because you had a couple. My senior year, I, I can tell you. I played <laughs> uh, between the legs against St. George from Buffalo. Uh, we was up by like eight. And I, was about to, I already knew I was about to come out. Because mm -hmm. it was like... We had another game in like two days, or the next day probably. Yeah. So I knew I was about to come out, because the game was about over. Mm -hmm. I just got oh, still. Bro. Somebody was fronting, though. One of, somebody on the other team was fronting, bro. I can't yeah. remember what he said. I was tight. Yeah. So then I was like, all right, watch this. I didn't know <laughs> I was going to do that, though, but yeah. mm -hmm. I just got a still on the fast break. I'm like, so, I was what? Yeah. so let me ask you a question. When you're doing shit like that, does it, you know, like in the back of your head, if I, do you think about if I miss this, coach going to take me out? Like, yeah, like, like, <laughs> nah, that you can't think like yeah, that. That's yeah. when you're going to miss, bro. Yeah. You just got to do it. Like, yeah, yeah. And anytime I do stuff like that, like try stuff like it don't be no thought to it. Like, it just be like that. Instant, like, you got to do it. You can do it. Yeah. So how was your transition from high school basketball, you know what I'm saying, not having as much talent that you're going against and then going to Temple and then you seeing a different variety of niggas. Like you said, you got your 6'10 niggas, your 7 yeah. foot niggas, niggas that can shoot from half court, niggas right. with unbelievable handles. Like, how was that transition? Because you stood out crazy in high school, uh -huh. then you got warmed up in college, and then you made it, you stood out there. So, like, talk about that transition and what you did to build up to that. In college, I ain't gonna lie, that first, so we had to go in, like, June, like, I went right after graduation. Mm -hmm. So that first summer, bro, I could not get a bucket in practice, <laughs> like, I couldn't. I was valid on defense, you feel me, I was mm -hmm. solid, because that's, like, from that was the biggest adjustment I had to make. Mm -hmm. High school, I could have went, from me, I could have rested on defense, too, yeah, yeah, yeah. depending on who he was playing against, but, like, getting to college, that's when I really learned, like, now nah, you gotta do this all the time, like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, and so that was good, but then, Bro, I ain't scored till like I ain't started scoring till probably when school started. So that whole summer I wasn't really scoring, bro. Yeah. So I was like, I wasn't too down though, cause we had a good team. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And I, I knew I'm like I'm a freshman. Like freshmen usually don't play for real. But then yeah. uh, one of my other teammates, I got in a car accident. So, yeah. 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 It's my bro, but I ended up having to play. You feel me? Yeah. So me just them just throwing me in there, and I was ready. Like 
I played good off the rip. Like my third game, I had like 26. For me. Damn. Florida, right? Yeah, Florida State. One thing good. Went crazy. I was good, and after that, I just didn't look back. Bro. Right. Just felt comfy. Yeah, fact. Like, this is for you type shit. So let me ask you this: You know, going from high school into college, the game is different. Yeah. What would you feel? Like, what did you feel like was your strength from high school that you realized that you wasn't as strong as in college? I'm going left. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> bro, I never knew. Like everybody always used to say, like for some left, and then I would just do it to prove that I could do it. But like on yeah. a consistent basis, like when they really like the game plan is to force you left, like that's to really show you, like damn, like, I really got you got to work yeah, hard, yeah. right? But yeah, that was probably it for sure. That period that you just talked about, where you said that adjustment from coming out of high school to college, where you said you couldn't get a bucket, like how important do you think that looking back on it, that was to like grooming you? to be ready for that next level. Like, you think that those moments is needed? Hey, yeah, you know? definitely, definitely. It was a reality check for us. Sure. sure. Like, yeah, like, these grown men, like, <laughs> this ain't high control. school, this ain't, yeah, nah. So, yeah. Gangster, bro, that, that gotta be tough. I'm a, I can only imagine, like, you know what I'm saying, with the pressure too, Yeah. Bro. and then a lot but of nah, people. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, going into college, I ain't really have no pressure for real. Or I didn't feel no pressure going to college. Like, I don't know. Confidence was high? Yeah, I was good. For sure. For sure, you gotta be. Right? They be saying like the practices be more live than games sometimes. Yeah, Cause it's depending on how good, you know, yeah, right? spot. Depending on how good the team is. Like in high school, bro, my senior, like all years, for all mm -hmm. four years, bro, our practices was lit, like going <laughs> down, bro. Mm -hmm. Like really going down. We had mad talent, though. Or, That's what it was, but. In college, who who was your toughest team that you went against that probably locked you up or you no. had one player that was like too much for you? It was like, yo, I, I know I can lock up, but this nigga got too much for me. Like, I was there any team that stood out to you for like that? See that? Locked up? Locked nah, up or just was somebody that teams, gave you trouble? Nah, it was certain teams I struggled to score against, though. Like, Tulsa, for example. Like, well, nah, when we played them at home, I was valid. But they, Jim, I just can't, I couldn't play there, but I can't hit no shots. Like, mm -hmm. And then they play the matchup zone, so like you, they jump, basically force you to make jump shots if you want to beat them, bro. Mm -hmm. back in the paint, they switch and everything, so that was tough, bro. And mm -hmm. I hated playing them. <laughs> right. At home, though, it's cool. Like, yeah. we, got, we got with them at home. Okay. We used to always split, but down there, I couldn't get one. I ain't never went down there. Gangster. How the crowd is like, like with like, like you ever heard like some some yeah, crazy yeah, heckling, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, violating yeah, yeah, yeah. or crazy, bro. <laughs> you really hear it though. Like I don't know for some reason you hear. I be hearing the worst. I, I don't chip off stuff like that. Should feed you? Mm -hmm. Make you be it's like, just, yo, I'm at the show. Like, nah, okay, okay. Funny, bro. Like y'all going dumb hard. <laughs> 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 Like, do, you, do you, are you a crazy trash talker? Because when I played ball, it was different for me because I ain't played basketball, I played football. So mm -hmm. I got a helmet on. You niggas can't see what I'm saying unless I'm talking deliberately to you. Mm -hmm. Basketball is different because they can see everything you said if they're yeah, not around yeah. So you, you talk crazy shit? I don't, but like, it's not hard to like get me going. Yeah, for like, sure. Once I do, I'm not going to yeah. stop either. <laughs> like, it's going to start. Like, I don't know, I play better like that. So once That's I me start too, having, bro. Once I start I rolling, it. so I'm not going to stop. Till I get a tech or something like that. Yeah, yeah. That's me all the way, bro. But it really don't be like that, though. Like, it don't be like no animosity. It's just Word. we who it's, it's, it's the game. I'm a competitor. It's the game, bro. Mm -hmm. It's the game. Like, I'm a competitor at the end of the day. So. For sure. As a hooper, though, bro, what do you feel is your most like suitable talent? Like, do you, you crazy shooter handle? Like, what do you? What is your go? -to? I think it's a combination of a few things for real. Okay. Like, I would say athleticism for one, mm -hmm. and like my height and the fact that I still got guard skill set. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, now that you in the G League, right? Mm -hmm. How was that transaction? Because that's that's different too from going from college. Because college you play against a lot of nice niggas, but now this is this is a different ball straight game. Throws. Everybody is straight nasty. Straight you feel me? So everybody was that nigga on their team in college. Not even just high school. We talking college with D one mm -hmm. college. Like you playing against the best in the country. Mm -hmm. So now you are really playing against the best in the world. So how was that transition for you? That was tough, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That okay. might have been harder than college. Like now, nah, for real, it was harder than college. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Cause I had to go like, I had to take on a whole new road that I never did before. Like, mm -hmm. remember I said in college I got lucky and I like got blessed with a role where I had right. I was able to score and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like most players, they would have had to, feel me, like be a defender, like three and D guy, like sit in the corner, and make threes, you feel me, play mm -hmm. hard, rebound, do all that. Right. And that's what I had to adjust my game to, bro. Cause in college I was getting a bucket. Like, mm -hmm. that, that was my job. <laughs> was just scoring, you know, <laughs> bucket. Mm -hmm. So now when. 
from the, I, I got it. Basically, it's like starting from the ground up again. So yeah, I yeah. did that though. Like I got through it, mm -hmm. and I even had an injury. I had a couple injuries and shit. I broke my wrist once. Yeah, and I sprained yeah. my other wrist and I came back. Like it was crazy. But yeah. for me, yeah, I fucked through it. it. I, I got yeah. I'm good. Sure. Wow. Right like, where I want to be. Right. Mentioning that, bro, because I seen this on social media. I want to say like a week ago. They said most talented or underrated hooper in the G League, and it was you on there. Bro. <laughs> I, it shocked me. Nah, that's, I think that was one of them, like, uh, like you know, the sports text pages. Right. I appreciate it. For sure. Like, for me, what do you find most fun about where you at now in the G League? Because I know this is every kid's dream when they growing up playing basketball. Like, I got to get to the league. Mm -hmm. Now that you, you know what I'm saying, right there. Mm -hmm. Like, how you feel about that? Uh, the fun part is just the fact that I'm traveling across the country. Ooh, for sure. Bro. For like, sure. That's dope, bro. Like, for like, you feel me? I can't right. ask for nothing better than that. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But I would say, like, the chase, like, the fact that I'm still chasing something, mm -hmm. it's like, no matter how big you get in basketball, it's going to be something you're still chasing, bro. Mm -hmm. like, I think that's what keeps me and a lot of other hoopers going. Like, yeah. a lot of other athletes, period. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think at a certain point, like, I hear a lot of, the, like, the, you know, the all-time greats talk about it all the time. Like, it's to a certain point where it's no longer physical. It's, a, it's more mental than anything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, where did you, have you hit, have you n noticed that? Like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it's still there. Yeah, I notice it. Like, the older I get, I notice it. Mm -hmm. But it's like, right now, I'm at, I'm probably like at the point and getting to the point where it's like, going to be both. Like, I'm going to be on my peak physically. And Word. Then, like, for me, finally yeah. reach my peak mentally. So, I'm just waiting for that, for real. But that's definitely real. Yes, the yes, yes, older yes. you get, like, the more you know about the game. And so now there's so much about basketball, bro. You, yeah. you can learn. Bro, Keep for real. Yeah, ain't nowhere else you can. You, I don't think there's no way that in life you there's no more to, to learn. Like, there's always something more to learn. Yeah, that's a fact. Mm -hmm. yeah. Keep learning something. That's a fact. But on the other hand, what is your go-to hooping kick? Like, what, is, what is some shits that you put on? Like, these is it. Like, comfortable currently, right now. Currently, it's my Kobe 6s. Gangster. What's yeah. your favorite shoe, basketball shoe of all time right now? KD fours. KD fours. Mm -hmm. Scoring time. <laughs> the blue mm -hmm. and yellow joints. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, sir. Fire. Them <laughs> joints hard. Gangsta, gangsta. I Shoot. like them Grinches. I be seeing niggas yeah. with them. Yeah, them Grinches them are hard. Them go stupid. Fire. Hard. With the red shoe strings, them go stupid. You can't beat them. <laughs> them yeah. stupid right there. Who is your favorite basketball player in the league right now? Not all right time. Now? Right now. I don't even think I got one for real. What? Bro. I like them. Like, you I got don't. a team? Nah, nothing. He had that point where it's like idols. Yeah, well, he right there. Yeah, I can. Like, he, like, he right, right there. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can tell y'all who I like watching. Like, okay, yeah. The most entertaining to watch to me, like Kyrie, for sure. Okay. Steph, for sure. Steph different, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Steph already been amazing, bro. Mm -hmm. Like KD, Brown, Brown for sure, bro. bro yeah. Brown, I watch him differently though. Know? Like when I watch him, I be studying because like. He really, he his mental is just crazy. His IQ of this that's, world. That's probably like the, his best attribute right now. Or besides him being athletic, for I me mean, he could do everything. Bro. Sure. So let me ask this: Who do you model your game after? Growing up, I didn't like. I, I wanted to be like T Mac. Mm -hmm. I, bro, I can swear to God, I've seen that. <laughs> I swear to God, I've seen that. Growing up, I wanted to be Tracy McGrady, bro. Like yeah, T Mac. That's that's all. All. Feel me? Mm -hmm. But then I started like moving around. I was playing the point a lot. Yeah. So like. I, can't really be for me. Team yeah. like, was just a bucket, so yeah, I was playing yeah. the point. But then point guard really became like my main position. So I don't know, bro. I really don't know what I would say. That's like a reinvented position, though. Like you got the point forwards. You know what I'm saying? You got Nikola Jokic, a nigga like yeah, that. That he, don't make sense. He, he be pushing the ball. Basketball now is at a crazy. Side of point where like they're really just getting it and going, bro. Exactly. Like, Everybody's so skilled now. We got all these players, like For foreign sure. players coming over here. You know, they skilled. Mm -hmm. And we got players over here, they working on they it's big men working on their guard skills now. So word, like, word. everybody out here just so that's uh, I think that's something that help out a lot of players, like being able to play multiple positions. Yeah. You feel me? Like that's more playing time. That's mm -hmm. more opportunities as far as getting signed. Cause if right. a team need this, or you could do both. Ah, right, yeah, we gonna take you for sure. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah. so let me ask you this question. I think Draymond Green say something like, "Everybody can score in the league. You gotta do something other than score." What do you feel like something you do that stands out from other basketball players? Like, what do you feel like your strength start besides scoring? Uh, defensively. Uh, defensively. Yeah, like I cause, I cause hope. <laughs> <laughs> What is it like? What is it like? How do you go about all right, scouting? How I'm gonna guard this person? Like, how do you go about picking? Like, do you like watch tape? Do you like, like how do you I stop? Do. I watch. I watch a lot of film, but like, 
ultimately, I really just try to be the aggressor, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. especially on defense, I try to be, like, the one that dictate the first, however. Like, so mm-hmm. I just try to be extra aggressive. Like, if he coming up a screen, I'm going to bump him and get over the screen. Right. Okay, so. so, yeah. Is that a problem going into the league now? Because you've been in all three levels right now. Yeah. And, and size is a big thing. But you see a lot of people like the KDs that slinky but tall and can hoop different. But, like, yeah. do you feel like weight really play, like plays a big role in, in where you at right now? Yeah. Because it, like, it probably don't look like it watching it, bro. But that joint is physical, bro. Like, yeah. It's physical. So mm-hmm. it, do be, it, it do come to a point where, like, all right, me being skinny, it do hurt. Mm-hmm. But, like. I feel like well, a lot of people tell me I'm stronger than I look, so yeah. that gave me by for sure. And like I'm taller and mm-hmm. quicker than most guys my size. I'm taller than a lot of guys, and I'm quicker than most guys my size. So, Word. So I mean, that get me, that gets me by a lot. But I definitely do gotta put some weight on. For for sure. I'm trying. Bro. I'm yeah, trying. for sure, for sure. It ain't easy to put on weight. <laughs> just hard, muscle bro. is hard to, it's hard to build muscle. You know what I'm saying? Hard. Especially when y'all running as much as yeah. y'all do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So exactly. I can't stop moving. Yeah, exactly. Can't stop running. Yeah, exactly. It's crazy. Nah, with, with like, my my biggest thing that I always like enjoy watching, I love watching like Hard Knocks and like them 24-7 like uh, documentaries and shit, watching like the nutritionists and how these niggas recover and all yeah. of that, like, what's the different levels of that that you like experience? Like, I, I always see niggas with them space shoot shit, so I'm like, what is them legs? <laughs> Big ass <laughs> yeah, boots. Bro, that, bro, that gotta be crazy. I, like, to I don't like. even know how to, how to explain it, bro. Like, they just... Like it's just filled up with air and it's like extra pressure on your leg. Like it hurt or do it like feel? Like feel good, bro. Like it's cold. Oh, okay. Nah, it's room temperature. You could get what? it cold though. What? Like, you could, it's one with the ice. There's one. Yeah, it's one with ice on. But that one a little different though. It's not as bubbly. It's just yeah, like yeah. the ice and then it's okay. a little. It's a little smaller. But nah, taking care of your body, bro. It's it, ha- it has to happen. You feel me? I'm not young no more. I'm yeah. not. Well, I'm young, but I'm not. Yeah. Going out outside open eight hours a day. Yeah, exactly. Two exactly. and a half three exactly. Gotta so, ice up, gotta stretch. For sure. Up. For you, which was the biggest like nutritious change that you had to do to prepare yourself to where you at now? <laughs> I was drinking soda. Ooh. A lot. Mm-hmm. Eating a lot of candy, like all that. Yeah. And that started hurting me in high school though. I used to cramp, cramp up all yeah. the time. Oh, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. I was cramping in high school. I had cramp in college, cramp, cramping problems in college. Yeah. Niggas, they had me drinking pickle juice before the game. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they was trying everything. Yeah. I remember one game, my whole, like, my, like, from my waist down was just locked. Like, I jumped to try to, like, contest the shot. Yeah. And then I just, everything just locked. And I had to go in the back. They, get, they had me in IVs and all that. Like, while the game yeah. going on, mm. I was tired, bro. Yeah, they had to, I might have no, like, I was so dehydrated. Mm. It was crazy. That's wild. So now, like, I'm sure you got a trainer and shit like that. How is that different from growing from high school to college to now? Because I'm sure it got more intense and, you know what I'm saying, you got to do more different workouts or eat different. Like, how has that changed for you? I mean, it got to a point where, like, you know, like, with the working out thing, yeah. I know what I'm expected to do now. So you feel sure. me? It's mm-hmm. like, whereas growing up, you just working on everything or trying to master a few things because you want to you want to be able to do everything when you go show these coaches or when you go play against so and so. So like now, I feel like when you're a pro, you know what you're expected to do. Like, so I just I work on what I'm expected to do. I try to perfect them things. You feel me? I still yeah. keep everything tight, like everything good. But yeah, yeah, yeah. for the most part, I'm just working on what I got, yeah. what I'm what I'm gonna do when I get back out there. So who's one of them like? I be seeing it now. It's like a common thing for a lot of like NBA players and these athletes to just work out with each other. Like who is one of them? Like ones, if you have one that you worked out with that you like, but we got good work today. Like you, you push yourself. You felt like you probably got better or something like that. You talking about here? Here, I, anywhere, just I like. Lie, anytime I work out with Isaiah, we Isaiah Stewart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he pushed me to my limit every time. Like we're yes. hooping, like all that. I don't know, cause we uh, worked out together pre-draft when we was coming out of college. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we signed to the same agent. So. We working out together every day, and ever since then, like every time we hoop, like he start talking, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. getting in a different zone. Bro. <laughs> but funny. that all come from us working out and just being competitive in our workouts. Like, everything we do, we made it a competition. Yeah. Shooting, like who could dribble faster, yeah, 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 yeah. just to yeah. push each other. Man, it's a day in the life for that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Watch <laughs> that, that bro. yeah, make no, yo, bro, bro, People go crazy. It was. It was. I just love watching shit like that, bro. Now that you're at that pro level, 
do you feel the difference when coming home and you like people want to take pictures with you and shit like that? Do you, yeah. do you feel that big difference? And how do you deal with it? Uh, yeah, coming home it do be like that a little bit, but it's dying down. I told you I've been here for a little a little while, a couple months now. Mm -hmm. So it's dying down, but I don't know. It depends, man. Like it's it just depends on the time. Like sometimes it's cool, but then sometimes people just be going overboard, man. Like I remember <laughs> one time. It was one of my bro's birthday. I was in the bar with my friends, bro. I'm just standing there, bro. Like, literally standing there, not doing nothing. Nothing in my hands, nothing, bro. This mm. one boy just come up and, like, flash a picture of me and then, like, just That's walk crazy. out the bar, bro. And then I seen him outside, like, showing his phone to somebody, like, through the window. I'm like, bro, I can't. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, like uh, what is that? Like, what are you doing, bro? That gotta be weird. Those but, like, with pictures, I'm cool with pictures. I'll take a picture for me, yeah. sign something. I do all that. I don't have no problem. We can even have a conversation, but what? just, like, keep it. Yeah, be respectful. Like don't be weird. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was like. You know what I'm like, saying? Then I don't want to sit there and talk about it all day. Either. Yeah. Like, I just, if I'm, especially if I'm stepping on somewhere, I yeah, just want to, like, get away from basketball. For sure, for sure. Trying to be normal, have a normal life, have normal nigga fun you know what i'm saying it'd be hard though yeah Definitely. i could only imagine bro so in any pickup game what pickup game that you ever been in that was just crazy difficult hard if you could name one that was difficult hard oh my college team we was uh playing against because you know like the morris twins from philly yeah uh, mm -hmm. Deion waiters from philly and there's a couple other guys like ronde hollis jefferson and, um lou will was there too so we was mm -hmm. playing against them it, I played against them a few times that summer though. Like we just hooping a lot, but it was just one particular day, bro. They was just going crazy. Man. I don't know. I think I got them tight though, cause I had dunked on somebody. I ain't gonna say who. I dunked on one of them though, and he paid, he paid the cameraman to delete the footage though. Oh, I swear to God, bro, that's bad. Oh, yeah. No, we need so, that. Yeah, for sure. We need, we need that. that. I don't even we remember who was recording that day. That's crazy. That's probably one of the cameraman all the time. But yeah, bro, after that, they just started crazy. Bro. So, so <laughs> they, like, so like that happened, though, like in the pro -ams, you know how they be filming? I'm not pro -ams, you know how they do like the, the pickup games, the, the pickup games, the recos and stuff like that, and they'll put all the time, like, who are pay a camera out to put a, a I footage mean, out? I've seen it happen. I don't know how common it is, but it happened to me, so That's I tough. know it gotta be happening. No, hell no. Nah. That might need to hit, bro. Because right? that could have got niggas signed yesterday. Boy. Bitch, I booed on that nigga. But nah, yeah. after that, bro, we ain't had no hope. Like, And then the YouTube joint came out. Like all us on the highlights and stuff, I'm like, bro, why? Wow, like, where my highlights? Y'all don't even know, but then I sound uh, crazy because, like, it's not on there, so yeah. I can't even say nothing. Yeah, that's a fact. I just let it rock. But nah, that was tough, <laughs> bro. That's that's nice, bro. Salute to all of them. Do you, can you name some, if you do remember, because I know you play AAU or basketball in high school. Yeah. What were some of the, like, top tier players that you played against in AAU? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. Miles Bridges in AAU was different. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was tough. Uh, Fox was tough. I know that nigga was fast. <laughs> Wait, <fast>. what? <laughs> oh, I thought yeah. I was fast. I get on that court. Just, 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 oh ah, he, he tough though. Um, who else? A lot of the teams, bro. We I don't know. When we used to play like them big name teams or like big rank players, we used to hold our own, bro. So it was really kind of hard. But like I know, I seen some of the stuff they were doing. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I remember uh, Dennis Smith was playing with CP3 one weekend, bro, and we playing on the court next to them. Bro, he done, This was in Houston. He done on somebody so hard, bro. Our <laughs> game stopped. Like he was on the court, like, looking at the like, bro, for real, bro. Like the crowd was going like berserk, bro. That nigga was He's like nice, bro. Him, he's the Harry Giles was tough, bro. There's a lot, bro. There's some, there was some fire, dogs up there. So we were just watching this highlight on you. I think you dropped twenty something in the G League. Yeah. What the hell was your mentality then? Cause you went stupid. What was my mentality? What was going through your head? Like nigga, I gotta show the fuck out today, or it just happened automatically. Uh, what game was that? That was against the green and white team. Yes. I think that was the game. My bros was there. Yeah, was, <laughs> my <laughs> bros pulled up. That was the first time they pulled up. Yeah. Yeah. Wild out. That was crazy. Bro. No, no, that's not. That's a different game. That game was the first game back from Thanksgiving break. Okay. okay. I don't know what it was. I just had some family time. Came back. <laughs> I was feeling it. Yeah, I was feeling it. What that got to feel like? I ain't never dropped 40 on that end in front of a crowd. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you know when you about to be in one of them zones, like, before, like, warm ups or something? You like, bro, I'm going for 50 today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or, or it just. Because all the it just games, happened. like, my highest scoring games, I was, like, 
breaking in one month. So I was like, yo, what's going on? Like, or my, right. my best going in there, I was breaking. Like, it, oh, I don't know what it is, but. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm, 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 I usually don't know, like, know that I'm going to have one of them days. I know if if I got a dunk early in the game mm -hmm. or if I got, like, some crazy play early on in the game, like hit a three or something, then I think. How was that too, though? Like, if. Like getting a dunk or a free throw, like literally get you hot, like you know what I'm saying, like something know, like that. It's like, mental, bro. I don't really, really understand it. Damn, yeah, it's something in our mind, bro. But that, like, if I get a dunk in the first two minutes, oh boy, <laughs> <laughs> For real. the momentum go crazy. Yeah, like, I just so now you feel good. Like, it's like with me when I was in playing like football. Yeah. Oh, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing like with anybody, because when I play football, when I get that first tackle out, bro, it's over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I get this yeah. first, if it's a boom too, yeah. it's over, bro. Yeah. I'm about to be fucking y'all up this whole game. Yeah, it's different for us, though, because we play football, but basketball, it's like some of these niggas, they be just, they be like throwing a golf ball in the ocean. Like, they just, they can't miss even if they wanted to type yeah. shit. Like, I, I just like never felt that time, before. Like, I felt like that one game in college, well, a couple games in college, and I remember I was playing here one day. Like some random pickup run, bro. But I was just throwing the ball up and it was dropping. I don't know what was going on. Mm -hmm. It to the point where I'm like, all right, let me see if I can miss. Like, <laughs> yeah, that that gotta crazy. Crazy. see if I can too clutch. That gotta be crazy. I gotta be crazy. crazy. I'm like, dang, if I ever got hot like this in the game, bro. What? I gotta go. Like, you ever seen like a celebrity you ain't think you was like in like course height or something or just somebody that walked in the gym that you like, damn, they over here? All the time. All right. see him. Yeah, now I see man. Even when I was in college, I used to see like you feel me. Temple is in like in the middle of the city in Philly, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. Right? yeah. So you, we used to see mad people. Like who's used to be on campus, bro? That's so, hard. Like, he used to be at his barber shop that was on that campus. Yeah, bro. I used you, to see mad people. You ever went to a crazy party and one of them niggas pulled up in Philly? Uh, the craziest. Well, I went. I went to the club and like baby performed. That's tough. Mm. Uh, a couple performances, but like at an actual party. Yeah. The biggest person up. Probably came to a party with PMB Rock. That's tough though. I was yeah. gonna do it. I, mean, I, I ain't had, had that in my years. Ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it was during that time too. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's yeah. tough. Yeah. So mm -hmm. now that you playing G League ball, mm -hmm. do you still pay attention to like the high school players and the high school ball that's going on in the city here? Yeah, I do. I gotta get more tapped in because all the ones like that I really know, like it's the ones I know personally, so yeah. they're cool with my little brother or something. Right. Mm -hmm. So. I they, they all go to prep school, so you feel me? I gotta tap into actual section five, sure. though. I ain't mm -hmm. gonna lie, bro. I went to this one uh, pickup game or some game they had in uh, in the summer, and your little brother caught like five bodies. You talking about the joint at uh, Eastridge? Yes, bro. Yeah, bro. He was said, tweaking. What the out there. fuck is going on? This nigga is wilding, bro. He was tweaking. He was wilding, bro. I'm like, nah, little that's different. different. Yeah, bro. He like at ease, bro. And I. I was amazed because when I came in there, I don't know a lot of niggas because I didn't play football, uh, basketball, I only yeah. played football. So when I went in there, I didn't even know it was high school niggas because they pick up, they, they lay up line, bro. No layups. Everybody is going yeah. stupid. Yeah. Through the legs, 360s, mm -hmm. women. I say, yo, these little niggas not in high school. Ain't no way. They say, no, that's, that's Q Rose's little brother right there. Flying. Boom. I'm like, yo, they dunking harder than a bitch. Nah, Ain't no wild. way, bro. I was just too amazed. So. What advice do you have for the up and coming kids in our city now? Because it's hard to come out of here, but you want yeah. to be that dead. What advice would you have for them? You just believe in yourself. Uh, and if you don't believe in yourself, nobody will. Gangster. Put that work in and be confident. Mm -hmm. Confidence comes with putting the work in. Like, you feel for me? Sure. If you're working, then you you going to think you're going to make the shot. You're going to think you're going to be able to score on somebody, be able to lock them up. So work. It's all confidence, and but confidence comes with work. That's my homie. Oh, oh, shit, What's the one thing you would tell them to like work on, like to make sure that game gets to the next level? Because you know sometimes we didn't have the like. Of course, y'all like I would say y'all age back y'all had a time after Isaiah. Y'all really like the first niggas that was close to the league. What type of advice would you give them to make the next level? Uh, I would say make sure your like, your basic skills all got to be like static, up to par. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Dribbling, passing, shooting, all that stuff. The stuff that's like basic basketball. You got to do that. And just defense. And I was the biggest thing though, be in shape. If you in, if you in more if you in better shape than the than who you playing, you're gonna torch them every time, no matter the skill level. Cause when your skill level will drop when you tired, like crazy, mm -hmm. you can't even move the same. Right, right, you right, feel right. me? So just being That's being in fun. shape. I, I I learned that the hard way though. Like <laughs> I had to learn that this past year. Gangster, gangster, gangster. Good to know, man. It's never too late, man. Yeah, nah, that's Wrong. Right. Let me ask you one question. They always say like top five roster players. Who are your top five roster players? Mm. 
I knew something like this was coming. You got, you got, you got another one. You got to do it? Yeah, like, you got, got to do it. You got to do it. All right, like, top five what? Like, you feel me? There's a lot of hoopers. Like, all right, all let's, say, let's, let's, like, say, what let's say from, like, at least graduation year? Yeah, it's your graduation from, like, 20, you graduated 2016. Yeah. And when you start playing varsity, like, 20, a little bit early, 2013. right? 2013. So from 2013 to 2016, yeah, your top five. I'm included or not? No, nah, don't quit yourself. Nah, nah. Okay, no, Why you can't? He start he put it up. He's going to put it up. number one. He, 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 duh, he's going to put it up. He's going to start a lineup, though. You, you, all right, right, let's say it like that. Like, I'll pick a five and go who? Yeah. All right, I can yeah. do that. Some niggas is going to be hurt. It don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. Yo, I'm my bro. Like, don't even worry yeah, about it. But, I'm about to go who? Lee. <laughs> I'm really a bucket, bro. You meet me in the corner, I'm not on this. <laughs> Alright, me, Twan, I know Twan Anderson. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Me, Twan. He played two, right? No, he, he won. Oh. But yeah, yeah, he be the one. If we was playing, we'd probably like switch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nazel. Okay. Ant Lamb and Isaiah Stewart. I like that. And then I just said, but Quaid and Bishop Carney. I like that starting five right there. That's, nah, that's, that's tough, that might that's be one, of the, uh, one, one undefeated uh, starting five in the town. Yeah, that's <laughs> tough. That's I like tough. that. Didn't you win a title two early on in high school? Yeah, freshman year. Yeah, yeah, freshman year. Talk about that. Say, ring? Say, ring me. I should have worn my thing, huh? <laughs> yes. talk, about winning, talk about winning a title like your freshman year. Uh. I was I was dope, bro. Cause when we won, our girls team won too the same day, bro. Like, oh yeah, I, I do remember that, that was was fire, bro. Yeah, that was yeah, dope. Bro. Like they had just won it and then they came to watch our game, bro. See for me, they got the net on. Like, they got <laughs> so the you looking like now we need that. Like, <laughs> we need nah, that. They, got, they gotta win this joint, but nah, yeah, uh, it was dope, bro. I was like what, fourteen, turned fifteen, and so the crazy fun. thing is, I, I started the season off six foot, bro. And I ended up 6'3". 6'2", 6'2", 6'3". Yeah, bro, it was crazy. During the season? Yeah, bro. Like, if you look at the pictures from, like, from the first game, me and Tom was the same height, bro. He was a little bit taller than me. I mean, we, our state championship pictures, bro, I'm clearly taller than him. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, crazy. Was, I didn't even notice it, though. Like, yeah. It was crazy, bro. Freshman year was fire, though, bro. I, I didn't play, like... Every, I played every game, but I didn't play like super minutes. Like, I wasn't the go-to guy or nothing, but mm -hmm. I was out there, you feel me? I was making plays. Yeah. Holding my own, so that helped me out a lot, though. Just being right. thrown about fire like that. Talk about playing under Twan, because I know he went D1. He had went to Fort Dam, and then I think he transferred to UConn. UConn yeah. So you, you had him kind of look up to the, he had like Thomas Bryant, I think, that uh, yeah. 2013. Yeah. And y'all had Chinoso. Yeah, oh, fuck, we didn't figure out Chinoso. Y'all had Chinoso. Yeah, 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 for a minute, though. They've been having Chinoso for a minute. Nice, all for my, all for years. Gangster. It was tough. But I learned a lot from Twan, though. I ain't going to lie. He was the one that, like, when I first started playing on varsity, like, when I first was getting there, mm -hmm. for me, I told you I was 14, bro, so I'm like, not, I was scared, yeah. not scared, but, like, Nervous I wasn't switch. trying to mess up, for real. Yeah. And he was the one that came to me, like, bro, you on varsity for a reason, bro, like, you got a hoop, bro, like, mm -hmm. you're not here to be scared, or you feel me? Mm -hmm. So, once he was telling me that, bro, and then I had to guard him every day in practice, so that was got enough for the you feel me? Like, Word. yeah, that's the section five player of the year. Word. So, yeah. That That's helped right. me out tremendously. But then, even still today though, like I work out with Tom more than anybody. Like me and Tom work out every like. If I'm working out, it's more than likely gonna be with him. Mm -hmm. I'm hooping, he's more than likely gonna be there. So. That's for sure. But yeah, it definitely transferred over. What do you um, What do you think the town need to change the environment around here? Cause it's like we starting to get a little more shine and people shedding the light on us and you know recruiters coming out here. But what do you think we lacking the most? I don't think, like, at this point, it's like, I already told you, like, we really just lacking, like, the knowledge of it. Like, we doing, like, we got people that work hard, we got people yeah. that care. Yeah. It's just, like, we just got to figure out the right way to go about it. And sure. for, for each different person or each different kid, like, it's not no one method. Like, mm -hmm. going, sending your kid to prep school, every kid don't need to go to prep school, bro. Like, right. it's like... It just they, every kid need somebody in their ear or not even in their ear like somebody in their corner that that know what's know what's going on and mm -hmm. want the best for them. All right. For sure. So it's just like we gotta really like the older generation just gotta really educate themselves on what's really going on. Just limit distractions. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it's so a lot easy. of it's a lot of people that's in it for the wrong reasons though. Right. Mm -hmm. So. 
Well, I want to appreciate you for pulling up, bro. Sure, no problem, bro. Looking to do this interview for a minute. You already know, bro. Uh, good luck in your journey, bro. Mm -hmm. And I hope you go far soon, man. Y'all stay tuned and my boy Q Rose, bro. Yes, up and sir. coming, man. He giving buckets, man. He will be on the big screen soon, man. Maybe Come get a part two. Soon. I ain't gonna lie. We're gonna have to get a part two. Yeah, for yeah, sure. For sure. No. Yeah, yeah. After you wanna, you know what I'm saying? Once you wanna chip in the league, you know what I'm saying? Just <laughs> make sure, <laughs> we, gonna make, make sure we get Start season tickets, tickets when you, you know what I'm saying? I just want one. I don't even need season tickets. I just want one floor seat. I just want one floor seat. Front and center. Keeping the G with Casey, we pulling up. But thank y'all for pulling up and watching us, man. We out.